there was one other thing that I didn't mention uh, in the previous video that applies to both uh, working with post and your pages and that's creating image galleries so I'm just going to go and edit this post uh, really quick so again I have um, this picture that I added at the bottom but say I wanted to add what we call a gallery at the top um, you basically do it the same way you click add media and then the only difference is you'll go to create gallery again this is still looking at my media library but what you'll do you'll click upload files if they aren't already uploaded to the site um, and then you just select all of uh, your files so let's see I'm just gonna select all these randomly just to get some variety and then WordPress will kind of do its thing and upload everything so you see you got some cameras along with all the stuff that uh, is already on the site this one uploaded twice so we'll just wait as it uploads and kind of does this thing And again, everything is very customizable in WordPress, which is really cool. Um, the fact that, you know, you don't have to, um, oops, didn't mean to click that. Um, the fact that you don't have to, uh, you know, settle for anything, you know, is a really, really cool feature. So, all right, I'm going to just unclick all of these items that I don't want to include in the gallery. Um, maybe I'll add this set. Or maybe I'll add this. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So, basically what you'll do, once you have all the images that you want to include, you'll create a new gallery. And then... It's going to basically have you edit your gallery, you know, so maybe you only want two columns. Um, if you want to change the order around, you know, you can do that as well, which is cool. And then once you're done, you know, you just hit insert gallery and boom, there's all your stuff. Again, if you select your gallery, edit you can change things around you know so maybe if you don't want two columns maybe you want four just click update you know and see it breaks everything up that way um, you see some of these uh, photos have actual uh, descriptions so all that stuff will be displayed and then once you're kind of happy with everything Again, since this post is already completed, just click update. You can go to preview changes. And again, all your galleries are now in uh, on your site, you know, which is actually pretty cool. You know, you can click on go into your next image, um, the previous image. You know all your titles I didn't change any of that stuff but you know it's a pretty cool little feature as well um, in WordPress and then I'll show you when we talk about plugins um, in a future video that you can actually download that'll basically create what we call a light box where when you click on the image it doesn't leave the page and it basically appears as a box um, around you know the content on your page I'm sure you guys have seen that plenty of times but uh, you know that's another cool feature that you can use with your your galleries 
as well. Um, the other thing too that you can do here is you can set a feature image and a feature image is just like it sounds it's the image that's featured on you know your page or your post or whatever it is that you know you're working with which is cool um, but like I said we'll get more into that um, as we get into kind of appearance and all that kind of stuff um, in the next video but you see as I set the feature image now it appears at the top of my post <clears throat> excuse me and again all this stuff is customizable but it just gives you an eye lot an idea excuse me of the ways you can edit content um, on your website so uh, hopefully you guys are playing around and starting to experience um, you know all the different ways that you can create content uh, on your site and then in the next video I'll show you um, how to work with themes and basically figure out which theme works best for uh, your own kind of visual aesthetic and how you want your website to look.